Greetings, greetings everyone. Greetings, greetings everyone. My name is Lisekha Wanto. A young visionary, a young best-selling author, a young award-winning altruist, a young transformer, a young trailblazer, a young innovator, a young inspiration, a young motivation, a young rebel. And I just want to come here today to share with you something that's very important to me and I feel like it may be important to you as well. First of all, let me appreciate uh, a very inspirational figure that we have in Africa that I feel like he's one of the unsung people in other regions of Africa but he's an icon, a real legend. I'm talking about Mr. Jeff Kwenange of Jeff Kwenange Talk Show. Mr. Jeff Kwenange, I just want to tell you that you inspire me. You're an inspiration. You have motivated me through your talk show. I have been inspired by you. And I look forward to meet you one of the days, to learn from you. I've seen you giving people a chance. I've seen you inspiring people. I've seen you asking people questions of value. I've seen you hosting, having discussions that leave a mark in people's hearts and souls. I've seen you speaking life into other people's lives. So with all that, I want to say that I appreciate you, Mr. Jeff Kwenange, and I would love to see myself in a talk show one of the days. I just pray that somehow God helps me to find myself at Jeff Kwenange's talk show because I really, I've always dreamed of this. I have always dreamed of this. I've always dreamed of this since 2016. I want to see myself in Jeff Kwenange's talk show, the biggest talk show, not only in East Africa, not only in Africa, but in the entire world. Mr. Jeff Kwenange's talk show is of the same scale as The Daily Show. It's even one of the best in Africa, one of the best in the world. And I am very much inspired by you because you come from this very African African geographical space but what you're doing is not substandard what you're doing preaches the value the quality that each and every person out there would want to go for so for that I am always reminded that you know what in whatever that you do do it so well that everyone else cannot ignore it which is why no one can ignore the job no one which is why no one can ignore mr jeff kwenange's talk show because it's one of the best i remember a time when you hosted oh the man who inspired me many times the legendary four times mr miles monroe that's that was one of the best moments that i've had in my life when you had mr Miles Monroe in your talk show. He inspired me with that message. He inspired me when he asked, like, you should die empty. When he said that message, that people should die empty. It's at that point where I had to sit down as a young person. As an 18-year-old, I sat down and started asking myself critical questions, like, what am I here for? How will I touch lives? How can I make a difference in my country, in my surroundings? How can I transform my country? What impact, what mark can I leave in the world before I die? It's at that point where I learned, I learned that it's important to die empty. It's important to not fear death, but to fear living a life that does not have purpose. And all this happened because Mr. Jeff Kwenange created a platform where we get to hear, where we get to witness some of these inspirational stories and see even the gestures when people are having such inspirational discussions. So thank you so much, Mr. Jeff Kwenange. Asante, asante, asante sana, asante sana. And I would love to see myself in your talk show one day. Like I said earlier, my name is Lise Homonso. I'm an authoress, a best-selling, national best-selling authoress in Botswana. I'm only a young lady. I'm a young lady. And I need you to help me get in a talk show. 
I would love to have a chat with you one of the days. My book is available in Kenya, Nairobi CBD. There's a store called Nuria Store, Your Honest Store. It's in CBD, Nairobi. Please go and get yourself a copy of this book. You can also get it online from the Nuria Store. So make sure that you pre-order, you order your copies at the Nuria Bookstore. So that's it. Thank you so much, Mr. Jeff Koenange. I look forward to meet you one of the days because uh, for some of us, the messages that inspire us to be what we are today came about because we sat down and we came across Jeff Koenange having discussions with some of the greatest people to ever live in this planet. So. That's when now we started to sit down and introspect ourselves as young people and ask, am I living a life of vision? Am I living a life that's intentional? Am I living to make a statement in every single day of my life? Am I living to make a difference in my life and in the lives of other people? It's at that point that our lives started to turn around. And for that reason, for that reason, I am choosing Mr. Jeff Kwenange in this Wednesday. Is it a Tuesday? Oh, it's a Tuesday, sorry. I choose you in this Tuesday, Mr. Jeff Kwenange. Tomorrow is Botswana elections, yeah, Wednesday. But today is Tuesday, and I choose you, Mr. Jeff Kwenange, because you have inspired me. You have inspired me, and that is why at this point, I just want to be an inspiration to many more young people than those that have already inspired. I want to expand this inspiration into the lives of other younger generations that are to come. And most importantly, don't forget, Mr. Jeff Kwenange, that I really want to see myself at Jeff Kwenange talk show. So please consider this request because there's a sincere request. There's something that I've always wanted from as far as 2016, but I did not know how to do it. I've had uh, an encounter with people who have had the opportunities, people who had the opportunity to meet you. Some of them asked them like, can you help me? Like you have a chat with Mr. Jeff Kenange or meet him somehow because he inspires me. But you know, it's always hard that way, which is why I decided that this time around, I'm gonna go direct and make this video to reach out to you, Mr. Jeff Kwenange. Thank you so much. Asante.